so you need to replace your speaker, but what size do you get? Well, the old one says it's a 6.5 inch speaker, so the answer is 6.5, right? Not necessarily. Speakers base their written size on a general category of sizes that can range by inches. For instance, the hi F6 is labeled as a 6.5 inch speaker, but its actual outside diameter is 7.75 inches. Guess what? You just bought the wrong size speaker. So today I'm going to show you how to properly measure for a replacement speaker so you can feel more confident you're getting the right size the first time. First things first, check to see if the hole where your speaker will be placed is recessed or if it will just sit on the top. If it's recessed and needs to be flush, measure the actual hole and the larger cutout around it from side to side in inches. Make sure the smaller hole is greater than or equal to the baffle cutout diameter and the larger cutout is equal to the overall outside diameter. If you're doing a surface mount, measure the hole and make sure it is greater than or equal to the baffle cutout diameter on the speaker. Also, make sure the overall outside diameter is greater than that measurement or it will fall through. Keep in mind, it can be too big as well if it's gonna hang over too much or cover the other portions of the speaker. Let's take a look at this speaker cabinet for example. It's a recessed hole, so I know I need two measurements. Let's first get the outside diameter, 6.5 inches, and then we can measure the inside baffle cutout diameter, 5 and 5 8 inches. When looking for a speaker replacement, it would be helpful to look in the 6 inch range, knowing the general size, but since all of our products have exact specifications, I need to find one that will match up with this exactly. Turns out, the Hi-Vi F6 would actually be a bad replacement for this cabinet. I need one with the correct measurements that will allow this speaker to sit flush in this cabinet, and the DC160-4 is the perfect size. There are a couple of things you want to keep an eye out for when replacing a speaker. First is the depth of the speaker. Make sure you have enough room to actually fit it all the way into the cabinet. Secondly, make sure you know what impedance speaker you're buying. It may be listed on the rear of the magnet or possibly even the back side of the speaker as normal impedance. Figuring out impedance can be tricky, just double check you have the right amount of ohms. Lastly, don't buy a round speaker if your recessed speaker hole is not round. There are a few different shapes and the general rule for measurement is flat to flat as you can see here. Here at Parts Express we want to make sure your orders are correct the first time and hopefully this video helps. For all of your speaker replacement needs, check out PartsExpress.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And if you liked that video or thought it was helpful, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more, click the logo in the corner to visit our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe while you're there so you can see all of our latest videos as we post them. Also, click here or here to follow us on Twitter and Instagram respectively, or you can click here to give us a like on Facebook. That way you'll be in the know when it comes to all of our coupons, promotions, and prize giveaways.